What's going on, everybody? Welcome to week eight of the NFL with my man, Jake Brody and Bobby Firestone. We're going to be talking through this 13 gamer and uh, what we plan to do. And, you know, I ran some some builds and I, I think I'm going to max entry this week. Um, I'm starting to get the, the little bug of, of all this max entering. So um, I, I think I'm going to go for it this week. I built out some scripts and I've got my my ownerships and I'm, I'm pretty I have pretty a condensed player pool, actually. So I'm kind of excited to talk through it with you. Um, what do you think? Any, any overall thoughts, Rody, before we pull up your screen and talk about the play, position by position? Yeah, man. I don't know. This is a interesting slate for me. I was looking at some of the games and everything. Um, I see a lot of blowout total type games, you know, like the Dolphins and some of these bigger teams, like with like really wide, you know, margins of winning, you know, Chiefs and uh, Ravens, you know, like they're playing some dog teams kind of. So, um, we did see last week the favorite went down, so I, I don't know if it's any of these games will be close or if someone's going to score 45 and you're going to need one side of the team or not. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of no run back stacks working. Last week it was Patrick Mahomes to Kelsey. You didn't need a charger. You could have had Paul. Yeah, Palmer had 21 or whatever, but Eckler and Keenan Allen didn't really do anything in the run back, and they were expensive. So, I mean, if you play Palmer, you're probably okay. If you didn't play any of them, there were some other viable players that helped you win last week without having a run back. So this week might be an, uh, another week where we don't have any run backs and we, we play one of these high scoring offenses. Yep, absolutely. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. And there's also some incredible value at quarterback. So we're going to see how we get into it. I'll, you know, we're going to talk through the positions and you can see right here, I've got my core guys, which is my, you know, Jalen Hurts and Lamar, my two favorite quarterbacks this week currently have 28% Lamar, 23% Hurts. 19% Mahomes for me right now. And then there's the what do we do with Sam Darnold situation. Uh 4300, it's going to be hard and he's I think he's actually going to be a lot more popular than even people think. Um he's going to be popular but I, I'm telling you he's going to be even more popular. Um so then I and I've got like 8% of Tua, 5% of Russ Wilson and 5% of Dak. It's probably going to change a little bit before Sunday. But those are the seven quarterbacks that I'm planning on using mostly. And that obviously correlates with the stacks I like. I like Baltimore, Arizona. I like Denver, KC. Um, I like the Miami side of the Miami, New England, maybe running it back with Kendrick Bourne. And the, the, the one game that I was considering was San Francisco, Cincinnati. And now I've got Darnold as a super cheap way to maybe, maybe take a shot there. He's got a good arm, you know, a talented spot. So that's sort of the, the things I'm looking at to sort of start my week off. What are you looking at a quarterback? What kind of stacks do you like? We can, you know, we'll, we'll talk about stacks later, I guess, too, but sort of just goes along with when we're talking about quarterbacks that we're probably liking the stacks too, right? Yeah, yeah. I like to – I usually drop most of my stacks as I kind of play – like list them throughout here. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I don't I, – I like kind of the spend-ups like you. Like you you really pick a lot of these spend-up this week. You know, I, I might even get some like, you know, like I don't think New England can have another game like they had last week. I think Miami's just too good, and I think two a stack – it's always viable as well. I'm going to probably have some of that. And I like all these spend up guys this week. Um, some of these weeks I'm usually playing these cheap guys like, you know, Gino or like um, Jordan loves been Jordan love might interest me more as a cheaper guy against Minnesota. So it's, it's in at, at Minnesota, right? So it's a dome game. Mm -hmm. So that interests me a little bit. I think they've been trying to really figure things out in green Bay. I am a Packers fan, obviously, but um, I, I don't mind that play. It's, he's cheap. Um, he's got some different weapons. It's actually, in, it's actually in Green Bay. I sorry, I was going to correct you on that one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I wonder why. Why does it show that? Usually, the first team. Oh, you're right. It is in Green. Yeah. We okay. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. So it's in Green Bay. So it's a little different. It's not a dome game, but but yeah, I, I'm kind of going to probably keep a tight pool this week. I, I've been playing a lot of these expensive quarterbacks lately. I'm probably going to stick with that. Um, there's some good, um, cheaper quarterbacks in this range here that we just talked. I just talked about, but they kind of got tough matchups. Like Stafford's a, 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 a guy we've been playing a lot of, but he's going against that Dallas defense. Geno in the slower pace game, a good defense in the Browns. Love, you know, you know, this isn't really done much, but he, you know, he's cheap. Russell Wilson against Casey. Casey's defense has been pretty good. Joe Burrow, I've kind of not really been on this year. Had a couple big weeks with him, but they're playing another good defense. So a lot of these teams are playing some really good defenses that we would like the cheap quarterbacks. And then obviously Darnold, you, you I kind of got to play him at forty three hundred. I'm going to probably mix him in a little bit, and then probably have these spend up quarterbacks. So I'm I'm right there with Bobby's play. So 
Yeah, I think that makes sense for right now. Um, let's talk about running back. Why don't you start us off with that? Because I think you're going to have some pretty concentrated chalk. And the problem is I actually like the chalk. So um, why don't you talk about what you're doing at running back? So, you know, Pollard against the Rams here looks pretty good at 7,500. I like his price. You know, McCaffrey's been a beast. He's getting pretty owned. I mean, Pollard's pretty owned. And Kamara's been the guy we've been on, but at a little bit cheaper price tag. But his volume's good. He's in a dome game. That's a good matchup for him. He is questionable. There's a lot of questionable guys this week. Um, you know, Mostert's questionable as well. He's getting priced up there. Um, mm-hmm. We like that game a little bit, probably more of the passing attack. Walker's been a guy we've been on. He's a little bit lower owned this week. He was monster chalk last week, but he's going against that good defense. Brees Hall, a guy that Bobby's got listed right here that I really like at 5,900. I've been playing him a lot this year. He's got a great mm-hmm. matchup against the Giants. Um, I think he's really chalky, but he's definitely one of those guys that Bobby was just mentioned that he likes for the chalk. Um, Aaron Jones' price dropped against Minnesota. I think last week he was eased, eased in a little bit. Dylan got some work in there, but we like a good starting running back at 6,400 that can catch passes out of the backfield. He showed flashes of that. He's running wheel routes still. Last week he even had a wheel route that he got kind of missed on. He's just one wheel route and a couple touchdowns away from being pretty decent at 6,400. Might be a guy that I'm on that's a little bit lower owned. For the peoples, right, mm-hmm. right. For the peoples, yeah. I did miss another guy that I kind of like, DeAndre Swift. If he stays a little bit lower owned, he does get a lot of pass work out of the backfield. He has looked good this year, um, since being traded from the Lions to the Eagles. He just fits well. I know there's a lot of mouths to feed in for the Eagles mm-hmm. this week. Uh, I, I, I have been a fan of the Washington defense, but I think their offense is just so bad that they're not getting any. Any drive sustained lately, like get the ball right back to their side. And I think the Eagles kind of want to come out and score some touchdowns. So someone's got to do it this week. Um, yeah, and I'll save the other ones that I see Bobby's got here listed. And then uh, I'll let him uh, talk about those guys. But Yeah, um, I, I have Brees Hall in half my lineups a little more actually right now. I'm having a hard time keeping him out of them this week. I, I like the matchup. I think it's a good spot. I like the price. Uh, I like Damian Pierce. He's not a guy I, I usually like to be underweight when he's going to be popular. I, I will take running backs against that Carolina team who's been the worst in the NFL, basically, at, at stopping the run or along with Denver, which leads me into Pacheco as my other top owned player, which I'm not getting off the board crazy with these guys. I do think Swift will be a little lower owned. I have a good, he's, he's my next in line. The, in, my, in my long shot builds, for some reason, I ended up with more Mixon than I thought I, than I, than I really wanted. I'm probably going to end up you know dwindling that down, but the guys who I'm, I'm kind of interested in that I think are going to, you know, well, one guy who's not going to get a lot of looks this is, I think Jonathan Taylor is a really good play. Um, I think we want to get ahead of this. He's gotten some more reps now. So I'd like to get to Jonathan Taylor, and then I'll leave you with uh, Tony Pollard. I like uh, quite a bit. I'm not sure what to do with the Minnesota running situation. So I'm, yeah, it, it, Saberson kept wanting to give me uh, Madison. My I sort of wanted to play the Acres hunch based on what we started to see on last, last week. So I'm still I'm up in the air on that one. I might, I might do something, and I, I'm just going to throw out one other guy who I don't have much of right now, but I plan to get more of, and that's uh, B. John Robinson. Um, I just like the price. I think there's a lot of coach speak and a lot of that stuff. It's not going to bother me, you know. Like I don't know if he was sick or what was happening last week, but I think that uh, he'll be back in his normal role this week. So I like that six K price on him. Quite yeah, that six yeah that six K price. I just noticed on him he dropped a little bit. So that six K price is really kind of juicy there. Like uh, so I think that's a good call by uh, Bobby there. And uh, um, one thing I didn't say was. Um, yeah, Taylor's price at 6,200 is a, a decent price too. So yeah, a couple of those guys that are a little bit pricey, even mixed at 5,800, I know Bobby talked about it, getting a little bit of ownership, but he's really dropped, but he hasn't done much this year and they're kind of been in a funk. They're playing a really good defense. So it's, that'd be really a gamble. I, I think he's probably over-owned at the percent he is, but I mean, the price tag is kind of juicy for starting running back with some good upside. I mean, that guy's dropped 40 plus points in a game, three touchdowns. I mean, some of these guys we're talking about that are dropping have massive upside, like Bijan at 6K, and and some of these guys, you know, Aaron Jones even has four t- 40 point upside, you know, in four three four touchdown game he had that one, you know, one last year. So some of these guys at these lower price tags, I think maybe one of them hits might be my hot take of the week. So one of these guys. So all right, let's move on to receiver. I'll let Bobby talk about receiver. I like that. I just want to read what one. The one thing I want to throw in is that I'm still considering what I want to do with Christian McCaffrey. I, I just. It's a lot to pay. It's obviously like a good spot for him. And, and I actually think that you could, I mean, I, it depends on how Darnold is not a guy who used to throw it to the running back very often, but just what they do in San Francisco, I think they're going to keep it simple, which means a lot of dump offs to McCaffrey and, yeah. and uh, 
and George Kittle. So I think you're going to see him pretty involved. It's just, I'm just having a hard time getting with the price, I guess. Yeah. I think uh, it's a, I think it's a price thing there too, Bobby. And, uh, um, for what it's worth, I, I don't think they're changing the offense any just because of Sam Darnold's in there. So I, I do think he'll probably still get those dump offs or maybe even more safety net for, for Darnold a little bit in the, in the game. So, yep. And uh, all right, so I'll, I'll jump into wide receiver and start this one off. Uh, my highest on wide receiver right now is Hollywood Brown. Um, it's because I'm so overweight that game, and I will be well overweight uh, Hollywood Brown as well. Brandon Ayuk makes for a, a logical pairing with Darnold if you're not going to play Kittle, and he's going to be pretty popular, but I've got him a good amount. The one guy I'm going to take a real shot on this week because I'm playing so much Jalen Hurts is I'm going to be way overweight Devontae Smith and probably like with the field on A.J. Brown. So I'm going to I, – and look, I, I know we haven't had the, the year we wanted from Devontae. He's had a couple of good, really good games. Um, but I think this is a, a spot where I want to I want to try and take advantage of Devontae Smith – and uh, and I'm going to get, you know, probably 25% of him because I'm playing so much of Hertz. And uh, I'll play him in some non-Hertz lineups as well. Uh, Cooper Cup, um, obviously, for obvious reasons. But I, I think I'm probably going to pivot more, more, some of those more to Tyreek Hill. Uh, like Kendrick Bourne, Michael Thomas. Uh, I'm going to go back to downs. I'm just going to keep playing downs as he's cheap. You know what I mean? Um, we'll see about the, the receiving situation for Green Bay. It looks like Watson's a go. But if not, I'll go to Jordan Reed. And then I'll, uh, I'll, you know, the, the, maybe my favorite play. And, and again, the guy's guy going to be pretty owned, but uh, Zay Flowers is showing up for me. I like Cortland, Cortland Sutton as a way to get a little bit different. Uh, I also really like Terry McLaurin. So I know it's a lot of names, but there's a lot of wide receivers to think about this week. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you still left out a lot of people. Um, yeah. Like you still got. Oh, Jordan Addison, I forgot. I love Jordan Addison. Sorry about Sorry. that. I had a sneeze. Oh. Sorry about that. I was going to say, because you have Jordan Addison listed here, and I talked about Green Bay. I mean, he wouldn't be a bad run back pairing, or or I like to do a lot of running back receiver correlations. So, like Aaron Jones, Jordan Addison, I like that combo. It's relatively priced well. Um, Christian Kirk, still at 5,900. I know it's a little bit tough for defense, but I've been I've always been high on him for the past couple of years. Um, he, he finally steps up. I know they got Ridley there and stuff, but like he, he does look like a pretty good receiver. Um, I don't mind that. He does project. He's projecting decent compared to this list. I'm sorting by aggregate projections here, guys. You can check out our Sabersim package we got. We get all the, you know, you get the Sabersim, you get all the games, you get all the projections, you get goalies aggregate, you get some sheets in here. You get all like Sabersim if you want to use that as well. So you can get all three projections right here, all through TrueDFS. So I know you guys are watching this video live on YouTube, so hit the damn like button. Just kidding. I'm getting a little aggressive. I know. I like it. I think it's good. I like this out of you. <laughs> um, yeah. So sorry about that. I did a little promo in the middle of our reception. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I love it. I love it. No, Same I know. Here. It's nice to throw these little mini promos and I, I, it gets everyone kind of cool. So back to receiver now after the spiel. We like we like some of these guys. You know, Jalen Waddle, I've been high on at 7,500. I know Tyreek gets all the work, but I, I'm, I'm feeling there's going to be a Waddle game one of these days. And at low, low, low ownership, that's kind of what I like. I like to grab a low on receiver in a high upside game. I mean, there's projected like score it. like 27 points. A lot of these totals are 27 for the 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 team that's supposed to blow the other team out, right? Um, so someone's got to score at least you know four four touchdowns pretty much to get that. So if he mm -hmm. scores two touchdowns, I mean he's viable at 7500. I like him. I like the Devonte Smith call at 6700. Um, it's a good play. Um. Definitely like Josh Downs. I had him last week, man. I was kind of excited about last week. I had some downs. I had some form in there. Just the line. I just didn't have the right lineups together again. You know, like yeah. my Mahomes stack. I had too much Eckler, I think. My Mahomes and Kelsey stack just died out with Eckler, Keenan Allen. So that hurt me a little bit. So, but I had a lot of these guys in these lineups, like the Downs cheap and stuff like that. And the Foreman was cheap at 4,800. So, yeah, so we're going back to some of these cheap guys. Downs, Michael Thomas, I think he didn't get a lot of work last week. He ended up getting a late touchdown, I believe, and a couple catches. He went from, like, zero points to, like, 14 or something. So that was kind of cool. But, I mean, he, he's a couple touchdowns away from looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, I mean, Bobby mentioned a lot of really good guys. I just kind of want to touch up on a few of those other guys. Um, you know, and then, you know, Adam Thielen's back in our life, but at 6,600 instead of, like, 4,000. So, um, he's going against Houston, which is passing the ball quite a bit. Houston's got a, a bunch of different receivers that you could play, but um, I'm definitely not 
I haven't. I didn't get. I'm not going to be on Thielen. I don't think at 6600, but he's definitely been getting the work there. And I do like. I do like a little Cooper Cup. His price is coming down 500 from last week, but um, I think he just gets peppered with targets. I know they're going against a good defense, but I mean he just gets peppered with targets. So I know Puka yeah. got a lot last week because my my boy Cup didn't do me very good in my dynasty league. So um, we're gonna we got to make it up this week, right? He's gonna have like 40 points, I think, or something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, think, I think we'll have a big week though. Um, but I, I, it's just a matter of how big and can you afford it and all that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, he control you a little bit. So why, why don't you why don't you jump into tight ends and talk about who you like who you like there? All right. I mean, this is probably a quicker position. I mean, we got Kelsey this week. We got um, Mark Andrews. We got Hawkinson. You know. I mean, these are some of the guys we like to pay up for. You got George Kittle there, and I know Bobby mentioned him getting peppered with some drop off, drop like short route targets to help Darnold there in the offense. You know, with him not you know getting a lot of reps and all that. I mean, he's getting some reps this week, but like he's going to dump it off to Kittle at fifty four hundred is a really good price tag. You know, I, I think that's a really good price tag. Um, I've always been on Goddard all year. He's had a couple big games that we needed this guy. Um. And at 4,600, he's another guy that I don't mind. I'd like the Hertz Goddard, Devontae Smith stack. I really think that's a good one mm-hmm. as well. I, I I play that quite a bit. Um, that's one of my favorite. Musgrave, they don't bring the price up. He's getting a lot of looks. Loves missed a, a few times as well. He is questionable, but I think it's a solid play. Joku, another solid play. Um, 3,600. I mean, he gets a lot of work as a tight end. Um, I, I obviously Watson's out again this week, so Walker's going to be there. So it's a little bit more iffy, but um, it's viable. Higby thirty three hundred is a decent price. He was four K. He dropped a little bit. Um, just trying to look at. I, I I like playing a lot of these cheap guys. I mean, we have a twenty seven hundred dollar fan. I mean, he hasn't done much, but one of these games, I think he's going to do something. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's for cheap guys. It's I, I dumpster dive a lot of these cheap guys, guys. Even Kyle Pitts at thirty eight hundred, I, I I don't mind that play at all. And then I do like some of these spend ups. So I, I think I either grab one of these cheaper guys, or I kind of grab like a Kelsey or something that Bobby has a core play on here uh, on the list here. And uh, Trey, I'll let him talk about his other guy. So let him go next. Yeah. Um, no, I'll, I'll jump into it. So I have uh, Trey McBride and Kel- and Kelsey significantly higher than everybody else. Um, after that, I I I, I, love, I do love Mark Andrews in that stack, but I also really like Zay Flowers, and I don't necessarily want a double stack, although I think it's okay, too, with Lamar now. Um, but just about depends on how you're building. So those would be my three main ones. And then uh, Jake Ferguson, Connor Hayward uh, for Pittsburgh is, you know, he's the, he's the other cheap option at 2,600. Um, and then TJ Hawkinson uh, would be the rounding it out for me. I'm going – I have a note to add more – to add some pits – Kittle and um, Goddard. Uh, that's and, oh, and Musgrave. So I uh, I only have five guys that I'm really playing, or six guys that I'm playing a lot of right now. But I'm I'm gonna be adding those other names you you mentioned. Yeah, I think those are all good plays. I, I'm probably gonna just literally play those guys. Like I'm not gonna play any of the other guys I didn't mention. I I didn't mention Waller. I mean, he's a guy that I'm always high on because he gets peppered with targets. He has fifty two hundred, but I mean he he's playing a Jets defense that I think are really good. But like he also gets peppered with targets, and they don't. I don't really like any other receiver for the Giants except him. He did lose that touchdown, the game-winning touchdown that one game. Um, that could have helped to boost him score. He had like 19 points last week or something for fantasy. So it, he's getting the looks, even with backup quarterbacks in there. So I mean, 5200, he gets in the box, he gets six catches or something. He's viable, you know, with a with a with a you know a tight end group. He's not priced up to like this this level, so. Mm-hmm. Might be a guy throwing, might not be a guy throwing. Check back on Sunday, guys. We'll go live. There's a lot of questionable tags here for tight end. There's a lot of questionable tags throughout the NFL. I mean, we just lost a couple quarterbacks. We got new guys coming in. You know, they're making announcements. So just, sorry, catch us live 11 o'clock on Sunday, guys. We'll fill you in with all the last-minute news and uh, exactly what we're doing on on Sunday. So, Yep, sounds good. Uh, that's for sure. And. Uh, I'll jump into the to the defenses uh, while we're there. Like I have, uh, I've got a lot of Pal- pa- uh, Falcons, Packers, Bengals, and Jets. Those are my main defenses right now. Uh, the other ones that I'm considering are the Vikings, Jaguars, and Seahawks. And uh, I'm probably going to spread out a little bit as we get closer up to Sunday. But right now, those are my main ones. Uh, prefer especially the uh, Falcons and Packers as my top two. 
Yeah, I'm probably going to side with you on that one. I like that 2,700 defense. Kirk Cousins, you know, always throws it. He could throw a pick six at any time. He even throws him on the damn goal line when he's about to score. It's a 100-yard pick sixes, you know. So highest that turnover happened. team in football this year. Huh? They're the highest turnover team in football. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. So that's why we play the Packers defense. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like a lot of these other, like the ones that Bobby mentioned. You know, I might even dumpster dive. Don't you know? You might see me with the Rams. You might see me with like something like this or Carolina, just because they're cheap. But uh, you know, twenty six hundred is a little bit more expensive. Um, you know, you never know. I could see me with the Cardinals or with the one. We got a couple two. We got two two K defenses this week. We're getting a few more of them now. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, also the Bengals at twenty two hundred might be one that I like. Being that Darnold's not really. I know they're very good. I like the Forty ers a lot. But that doesn't mean Darnold doesn't throw a turnover and their pick six or something, and the Bengals score, you know, fourteen points. That's viable for a defense, you know, twenty two hundred. So uh, I might get a little bit of them because I'm always looking for a cheap defense. So those, I'm going to uh, side with Bobby's defenses and then and just a couple of these cheaper cheaper flyers that I'll probably be on on the on this week. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um... All right. You know, we talked a little bit about stacks at the beginning. Um, you know, I, again, I'll just want to, re, you know, sort of reemphasize the ones I, I like the Denver, KC, Baltimore, Arizona, the best uh, Philly side of the Philly, Washington. I don't mind McLaurin as a run back, especially uh, maybe Dotson or McLaurin. I think or you could put, throw Logan Thomas in the mix, I guess. Um, Miami. Uh, I like the Miami side of that. And uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out what my, what my bold call is, is going to be exactly. And, I think that the best one I've got right now is that Jonathan Taylor is in the winning lineup on Sunday. How about that? Well, I like that. That's a good one. That's a good hot take. Yeah, it's a, it's a hot, the hot take, man. He's got he's like three percent ownership. Oh, he's, he's picking up. He's picking up. Yeah, he, he's picking up. I think because he, he, I mean, he's going to be talked about a little bit. So as the week goes on, he probably gets picked up a little bit. Um, you know, Zach Moss so has been still getting some work though, but. Um, I think Taylor should be taking over the role. So, I mean, that's a good call. Getting in on him early at his price. I like that call by Bobby. Nice. You got any hot takes you want to mention before we take the people out? Oh, you know, we might as well just go with my boy uh, Packers in the in the Aaron Jones call, I guess, at 6,400. You know, I, I like that game a little bit. I think he's going to be worked in a little bit more. At this ownership, I, I'm going to 3% here. I think I'm going to. Jump in on some of it, you know. I kind of like that a little bit. Yeah, I think um, I'm weak early, so I kind of like that idea. Yeah, I think I think we get in on him. That's yeah. my bold take. Um, you know, I wish I would have took some of these bold takes for this Thursday night game that was going on right now. You wouldn't want to know the top two receiving options. I do want to know who they are because I played them both. I, they're both captains of mine, uh, Gabe Davis and K- Khalil Shakir. Well, Shakir's got three catches for 39 yards. Yeah. And some Palmer guy on the other side's got a couple catches for for the Bucks and the 15 yards. I mean, they're the two highest guys for each team. But um, yep. does Gabe Davis have anything going? He has, he has like 48, 4.8 fantasy points. I don't know what he did. No. So. Yeah, so. Long ways to go. Yeah, long ways to go. He's got two catches for 25. So that's about the – that's where you get the four points, yeah. 20 yard, 25, 2.5 points in yards, 4.5 ish. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, Rody, why don't you, uh, why don't you say anything you want to finish with and then take us out of here? All right, guys. Uh, good luck this weekend. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, check out True DFS. I think Bobby Fi's got a code right now. Bobby Fi NBA. Yeah, Bobby Fi on fire in NBA two days yeah. in a row from the start of the season, just raking it in. Bets are like almost undefeated, I think. Yeah, so, yeah, out. he's killing it, as always, in the NBA. So you're going to want to get our package. You get NFL. You get NBA. You get all of it. So uh, come over, join the package. Um, you get Saber Sim and uh, whichever package you want. So uh, I think we're going to have a good NFL week. Bobby's going big on the MME this week in NFL. He's killing it in NBA. You're going to want to come over here and get some action. And uh, as always, guys, let's get it. <laughs>